from the Premier of Blue Cross Studio, New Day Northwest starts now. Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. I'm Brooke Fox filling in for Margaret today. And first up, we have her pasta creations. They've gotten international attention thanks to her super popular Instagram account. I'm talking about Salty Seattle. And now the owner of that Instagram account, Linda Miller Nicholson, shares her beautiful, colorful recipes in a brand new cookbook called Pasta Pretty Please. Linda joins me now, and you're just as lovely as your pasta. Well, thank you so oh much. Gosh. And you know, I know we're going to talk about the book, and we're yes. going to make all this yes. pasta, but I have yes. to say, on behalf of commuters across the Puget Sound, I need to bestow this hug oh, upon you because so kind. you you make my mornings oh, joyful. Shucks. My whole mission statement in life is to bring joy, and and you do that through your thank medium you. as well. Thank so. you. I I feel like we're you know I do the rainbow pasta of radio, and you do it for yes, your kitchen. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Is that what we're yeah. talking about? And we're both like you know. Our minds can be in the gutter a little yeah. bit, you know, but it comes from a good place. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I love I'm so, that. so I love that. to so be tell making me, pasta with Tell you. me about this new book, though. That's what I really want to know, and that is so kind. It, I, I, I genuinely mean it. So the new book has over 25 different colors of pasta dough, all okay. made using vegetables, herbs, and superfoods. And so we have a, a sampling of just six of the colors of dough here. That's crazy. Can you guess? I'm going to give you an easy one. What okay. do you think the red is from? Beets. Exactly. You all got right. it. Nailed it. Right. And then we have harissa for the orange, turmeric, brain food. Okay. Like, I've I mean, heard. I need it. Yeah. You know. It's we supposed need, to make we, you we smarter. Are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's working. Well, you know, who knows <laughs> what would happen if you didn't have it. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All bets are off. Homeless in a car. Yeah. Um, and then the green is parsley. The blue is a flower called butterfly pea flowers. Cool. Uh, and then this comes from beets and blueberries mixed together. And for this the has made you, like, I mean, not only Instagram famous, but famous. You were just on the Today Show. I did the Today Show. It was so awesome getting to render uh, Hoda and Kathy Lee well, out of are. pasta there. Yeah, I had to get up at essentially like 1.30 in the morning our time to get to the studio and to make it. Apparently, Al Roker came in and uh, I was just in the zone, right. I guess. Right. You know? Oh, and he comes over and he gets like a little bit too close to my art and I'm like, dude, no. you know, Possible I'm like, portraits to, like, are happening right now. He had a suit on and okay. I guess I maybe got some flour on his no. bottom. It was but all for the art. It, was, it counts. Yes. Yes. It counts. And so exactly. what are we making today? So talk, today we're making annulotti, which is a pasta shape from Piemonte in Italy where, um, where I lived for a while. It's a filled pasta oh, cool. with butternut squash filling that's delicious. Oh my gosh. And we're going to serve amazing. it in this caramely apple oh, bacon sauce God. that you can hear. Don't you wish there was oh, smell o vision? Oh, this like is go bacon, out into the world. bacon sizzling in mm -hmm, here, and mm -hmm. I have bacon not and eaten breakfast since five this morning, so I may just oh, take well, this. We're gonna, okay, we're, what are we doing actually, now? Actually, we talked about whether or not we were going to eat this on a plate or just eat it out of the pan when okay. we're ready, and here's the deal. I think we're just going to eat it out of this pan. Like, oh I feel like God. you hold so one good. half, I'll hold the other, and then we'll just put it in okay, our face. Okay, so we got so. salty and sweet happening mm -hmm. here, yep, and this the apples. is the sauce that's going to go with our butternut exactly. squash. And you love the name I can't say. Yeah, don't even worry about it. So here, we're going to actually start making some of the pasta as well. Um, so we have the, the base sheet, which was the green, the parsley. Okay. And see, I'm laying these strips along here like this. These are just like fettuccine noodles uh, made from the butterfly pea. They're so pretty. And so why don't you help me lay a few? Oh, like gosh. I'll lay one All and right. you lay one. All and right. We're laying pasta together. Thing. Yeah. I like that. And how many pieces of pasta is this going to make? Because I feel like this is a little time extensive. Not really. No, this is, intensive. I mean, you can, Manuelotti is one of my favorite filled pasta shapes because you can make enough for an army for, you know, literally eight to 10 people in like 20 minutes. Sweet. Um, so okay. yeah, this is, this is a very efficient ah! shape. Oh so gosh. Throwing I know pasta kinda, everywhere. Exa we, we can do that. So, and if it ever gets a little too sticky, which it looks like you were, you were getting a little sticky there. Am you I sticky? Flour. See? Oh, okay. Ooh. Fl flour hey. fairy. <laughs> now I'm going to be ready for now all we're the <laughs> Now we need our compressed air to, so we can have our like Marilyn Monroe moment. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm in for that. Okay. This, and, is, this is why I do what I do. Yeah, I, I, and where did the inspiration come for all of this? Actually, when my son went through that picky phase that kids typically go through. Oh yeah, uh, like the first 18 years of my life. <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, like, I've been making pasta every day, since, or every week at least since I was four years old. And oh I my thought, gosh. I'm going to just puree the vegetables into the eggs. You're and, such a better mother than I. I just no, not do at all. macaroni and cheese. This is amazing. I mean, that's pretty much all he'll eat. So it was like, if he's going to eat mac and cheese every day anyway, I might as well try to get a little bit of vegetables into the mac okay. and cheese. So we have this really cool pattern. I'm going to yep. put it back really through pretty. the pasta machine. Okay, you can step back. I'm going to flour okay. bury it okay. one more time. I'm already floured. I know you're afraid. Oh, that's so Fun. I know. I'm not very afraid. It's we just like, have the rest of the show to go. Oh, you'll, so. you'll, it comes right off. It actually, I find that on set, it makes nice, um, like a fate, like a powder. So, okay. so you're not quite so okay. shiny. I like yeah. that. Yeah, a little. 
nose dusting. Is that what it is? We're, we're doing makeup it, and pasta well, at the same as time. As long as people understand that Natural that is ingredients. what the white powder on your nose is, you know, then, then, then you're fine. <laughs> and so is this going to taste like parsley and what's the blue? The, the blue flower? is the, the flowers, yeah. And so the really awesome thing is that we are going to eat it at the end. And I do, I, I totally want to ask you that question when you taste okay. it. You know, whether or I not can tell. you can taste it. And I really, I don't think you're going to be able to. So that see, we beautiful. made that pattern and then we press it together and it just, it, you know, develops that I kind of like integrity. I feel like you're holding my pasta career in your hand right now. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I mean, if you want, I could turn this into like a little scarf for you. Whoa. Or we can okay. make it into I'd actual pasta. I'd say let's pasta. eat it. Yeah, let's eat it. Yeah, I'm more for eating food than wearing it. Although it looks like I'm doing a little bit of both well, right now. I, I know you are. <laughs> I do say with the pasta, like if you could make a pasta bikini and invite all your friends over. And then um, then you just jump into the hot tub or, after well, you're done. You if know, if I had any friends like... left after something like that, <laughs> then maybe that'd work. Oh, are you kidding? I think half of Seattle wants to see you okay. uh, in, in a pasta bikini, Brooke. Okay, and so the pasta is going to go in the water here in a second, right? Yeah. Yep. So. This is how we make the, the how we form the shape. So I'm okay. just gonna tube that over like that. And then why don't this I have you yes. put just a little bit of see the mustard and right there. Oh yeah. Just about half that mustard and half the salt and pepper into our sauce. Okay. Half the mustard. I can do sauces I'm good at. Great. Yeah. Perfect. And Wait, then and just give it a little stir okay. with the wooden spoon. And then if the camera can take a look, this is how you pinch oh, that so pasta form. See how I'm going along right there with my fingers and I'm just pinching oh, just so like cute. that. I didn't know it was that easy. I always thought you had to have like a machine to oh, do Like that. all sorts of big stuff. Yeah. No, like that's literally all you do. And then I'm going to go this along. This is fascinating to me. Cut that line. And so see this still looks like a big, you know, blob essentially. Well, watch yeah. this. This is how we make the little individual shape. Oh my shapes. goodness. Just like this that. This is something that so my, you see, my children could do with me. That's the thing. It's kind of, it's got like a, a arts and craftsy vibe to it. So I feel like people who are like, oh, I suck in the kitchen. Yeah. With pasta, it's very forgiving and it's super fun. So it's totally something okay. um, that can be really so engaging. We need so to let's put the pasta in the, in the water. water. So first we're going to salt our water. And so, um, there's a tip in the book, Pasta Pretty yeah. Please, on how to salt your water. Um, you should um, you afterward go it? to that page. And now, yeah, All toss the way it right in. in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. And why are we salting water? Uh, it's very important. There's no salt in the pasta dough, and so you need to marry those flavors oh, together, okay. Okay. essentially. Okay, so you got our mustard in. Did you get our salt and pepper? Let's just toss. Oh, yeah, I only did half. Oh, I oh was no, you did, you, okay. you, you did great. I'm, I'm doing my best. Kitchens and me don't always get along, unless no. there's a microwave. So this is good. This is this is pushing my limits. <laughs> so we just added some chicken stock and some sage to that. Let's oh, see if we beautiful. can figure out how oh to turn this gosh. fancy thing up and, and this get it nice and hot. In the new book, it totally is. Yeah, and doesn't it just smell like fall? Oh. Like so. Let's get that really nice and sizzly. Okay, we got one minute. Do you think we're gonna have? Oh, uh, we're gonna be perfect. We're gonna pull those how quick, out. How quick does this happen? So because we just made it, it's yeah. super fresh. You can boil it for about 45 seconds what? and it's done. Yeah. So it's why don't you done? give it just a twirl there? How do you tell when it's done? Uh, well, you Does taste it. it. Oh, it'll float. Well, that's it'll, a good it'll float way to, to the top. Tell. But we okay. want it. We want it warm enough, you know, that it's not disgusting when we take a bite. But we're we're almost there, and our sauce is ready. Okay. Um, why don't you hand me that cheddar cheese, okay. and then I'll put that in, and then of one of the nutmeg pods. Either. I mean, yeah, it's pasta. Where do you get nutmeg pods from? A nutmeg Any grocery tree? store. <laughs> I, oh a my gosh, I wonder how they grow. This half no, so so we're gonna take the microplane there. Oh my gosh. This isn't. This is. This is cool. Yeah, and we'll just. Amp up our flavor, and then I'm actually going to have you pull the right. pasta and dump it right into this sauce. Okay. Look at that beautiful. We're ready to go. This is like Seahawks pasta. It or totally Sounders is. Sounders pasta. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's both, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Color wise, there look how go. pretty that looks. Game day pasta. That's what we got right here. Throw it all in. Yes. We got Perfect. one piece. I don't want to leave this lonely I know. piece down here. In there to. Oh my gosh, oh. this looks fantastic. And doesn't it smell great? So I think, let's do it. Let's just go straight out of the bowl. Do we have forks here? Yes, we do. There we go. There you are, my dear. Okay, there don't burn yourself. Um, and I think it's going to be worth it. I got to get a little piece of that. Get in for the in bacon. There. Oh my and goodness. And for the apple. Oh, this, and people are going to be so jealous of this. Mm. Cheers is right. Uh, oh, hot. Oh my gosh. Here's a bonus for New Day viewers, too. Three of you are going to win a copy of Linda's new book, Pasta Pretty Please. Oh, so good. Head over to the New Day's Facebook page and comment on the post pinned to the top of the page with your favorite kind of pasta, and you could win. Good luck. And then up next, how one family was inspired to help others after their son received a life-saving surgery. We'll be right back. Oh, hi.